think this is the first time I've been in this uh, type of terrain. At least this playthrough. I think I was in it uh, once or twice last playthrough. It's not too horrible. Basically just really huge hills. And Krug sees one somewhere in the darkness. Maybe you can kneel and take a snapshot at it. And I don't know if that hit or not. I think it may have missed. We'll see if Horse can pull off a nice shot here. Uh, just enough for an aim shot. Which missed. Horse missed. That doesn't happen often. Send David Hicks out, see if he can pull off a quick snapshot. Someone will kill it. Or not. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Let's just send some of the rookies out and we'll just deal with the alien next turn, I guess. I don't know. Unless Jurgen can get him. And also misses. Alright, let's just end the turn and see what happens. I find it hard to believe that many people missed. Oh, it's one of those. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. So I guess we did hit it the one time and it just didn't die. Fair enough. Send Horst up to the tip top floor here. Oh my god, the sub is right there. <laughs> Found it! Wow, we like crashed into it while landing. That's impressive. Um, yeah. I saw one of the jellyfish things. I don't recall where it was. I think it was like off to our right. Oh, we see him. Snapshot in its tentacle, I think, perhaps. And you also see it. Um, yeah, try two snapshots. Not very often you can do that with the sonic cannon. And you're again with the kneeling aim shot. 95% chance to hit, succeeds. Really love having really accurate people on. So nice. Makes the mission a lot easier. Wow. Well, fuck you, alien. This is apparently a mixed crew ship, as... Generally, you don't have aquatoids with these tentacly things. So, Krug is very much um, sleepy now. And nobody. Max has got a. Max has a medkit. Just throw it on up there if you can. Please and thank you. Oh, Tom. Tom's tired too. Okay. And Tom's a chick. I forgot about that. Let's throw up a few stimulants. Eh better. Not ideal, but it'll be just fine for now. And I don't know who shot that. Maybe through a window? Maybe somebody on ground level. I don't know. Let's get Tom Moreland out there. Next turn. We'll just continue scouting around. Let's keep Jurgen somewhere near the ship in safe range. He's very accurate, so he'll be a secondary sniper. Man, would you shoot that guy? Goodness. I think he's shooting me through the ship or something. Uh. Oh. O okay. I'm confused. Uh. Well, I see him. I'm not sure what that's all about. Is there a giant hole in the floor, or...? Is that just how the game's loading the fact that I can't see what is on the floor inside, so it just sees through it, and... I don't know. We'll investigate. We'll find out. Let's see what that's all about. On the turn there. 
I haven't scouted around the ship. Uh, I'll probably get around to doing that at some point in time, but since the ship is right here, I uh, figure I may as well. Yeah, this this is one of the uh, this is a dreadnought thing, I think. Um, no rooftop here. Ah. There we go. Send Tom up. Keep an eye on that door. David Hicks, run on up and follow Tom in. These are a pain to do because there's so many entrances and exits. It's so easy to get flanked. Uh, it certainly helps that we blew a hole inside of it, though. And I suppose I'll uh, forget that I said to keep Jurgen back and just send him forward anyway while I send some poor rookie Boris Andian off, off on his own. I suppose he's not a rookie, is he? May as well be. He doesn't have armor, so he's good as dead already. God, nobody can move. Nobody's got time units. Um, I guess we'll just have you take a peek in the window, see what's up there. Make sure it's somewhat clear when we use the elevator and go up there. It's one of the pains of it is you rely on elevators to get up and down, so it's very possible you'll use an elevator and just get shot right away from reaction fire. And at least this doorway's clear. And I guess that's just, like, the balcony thing. It just looks really fucked up. Yeah, that looks so weird. Uh, Alright, I forgot the layout of the ship. I forgot that it did that. It's got a weird catwalk thing. Jurgen there. Max Cheney will head on up with you and we'll attack that sh thing from uh, that ship from two fronts. Hurrying up the hill you see one. No line of fire though. Eh, okay. We'll handle it next turn maybe. Or at the very least we'll have uh, We'll have Horse take a shot at it. You should be able to see it. Oops. Let's have you kneel. There we go. 105% chance of hitting. He got better, I think. Ah. Got him. I'd be so pissed if I was that alien. Think you're safe on the other side of the map? Nope. Not safe. Dead. Very dead. And there's another one looking to knock me out. I think that was on uh, Jurgen's side. No reaction fire, though. It's okay, we'll just roll on up and uh, I suppose we can use this elevator. No reason not to. Makes it a little easier. David Hex will pop open the door and not step in because I misclick all the time. And Tom will just stand there in front of the doorway looking pretty. Pretend to be a girl scout and, off, uh, girl scout and offer them cookies. And then shoot him in the face. Or just stare at them. Knowing how reaction fire is this playthrough, uh, we'll probably just stare at it. Nobody really seems to to want to kill any of the aliens until I tell them to. Uh, I think that's everyone. And he's still running around up there being all sorts of happy. Got one with reaction fire and there's a few Akatoids in there. So we'll just huck a grenade and kill both of them at once. There you guys go, that should do it. And he is only unconscious, so we should be able to get him up. Next turn, perhaps. I don't know which way I need to look, we'll just go with that. Tom. 
I don't know, hang out there. It's difficult trying to figure out where to put everybody because there's, like I said, so many pathways. It's very easy to get flanked, especially since there's an entrance slash exit on every side. Or apparently just these two sides because there's no doors for that side. Or that side. Hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Unless those are doors. Those, those could be doors. I don't know. Who am I kidding? It's an intimidating ship nonetheless. And someday Maria will catch up with her whole, like, 30 time units, apparently. Two kills with a grenade blast there. We'll peek in, make sure it's still clear, try to secure the area so we can get up our buddy. Krug, I suppose I don't really need you up there anymore. Send you around. Tom Moreland is heading up here to give the, uh, the nobody, Boris, a little bit of cover. Tom will watch the elevator there. Uh, there's elevators everywhere. That much is certain. You do not have a med kit, so we need to get somebody with a med kit over here at some point in time to get him up. David Hicks doesn't have one either. Nor does Tom. Nope, Tom does have one. Okay. So at some point in time, time Tom will go over there and get our buddy up while the other two circle the ship. There's another hole over there. Goodness knows how many aliens are over there. A lot of doors opening and closing, so there's definitely some still hanging out in the ship somewhere. Krug's got a med kit too. Let's just get Krug over there. Tom's watching the elevator right now. And... Dead alien from the crash. It's a decent sign. We got somebody on the second floor already, so that's somewhat good feeling, I suppose. Not really sure what to do with all the unarmored people. I don't really need them. Got somebody in most of the entrances right now just hanging out, trying to trying to clear, but nobody seems to ever have time units to really get very far, so. Very slow process. This way's clear, so we'll uh hide back here since this way is clear as well. There we go. And Krug is working his way over to get up our buddy whose name I don't remember. Yep, still down. Who is it? Jurgen, that's right. Very accurate Jurgen. Would be very nice to have him around. Check out the, uh, the damage there. Oh man, Boris, circle around. Try to clear that room. We got friggin' Tom Moreland flying around. There's not much anywhere on this side of the ship at all. I think it's pretty much clear outside. Just whatever aliens are hanging out. Let's hop on the roof. I don't really need you out here. You're no good at the ship, so we'll just send you on the roof, try to run across and get to the other side of the ship in case there's something over there for you to snipe. Hmm. I don't know if you're safe there or not. Looks like there's another hole there. Yeah, the outside of the ship looks pretty clear. There's just this corner left. It's 
so. And there's no telling, my gosh, he's knocked out. There's no telling just how many aliens are left because it, uh, it was a crashed ship, so it could be any number of aliens. Pretty sure this door is clear, so I'll send you out. And we'll just have Tom go across the way here. Open up the door. I remember last playthrough there was like four aliens all congregated there. It was pretty insane. And we'll end it there because I'm fairly certain there's just a few aliens left on the top floor. Just below horse tier. Gosh, this sub is huge. You really don't realize just how big the sub is until you're running around on the roof. This thing is massive. It's like the size of a friggin' Walmart super center. Ugh. And next turn, Tom will go up. That way is clear. Still, Max Cheney there for some motivational support, I guess. I don't know. I suppose I should check out those corner rooms. Yeah, there's just a couple corners left for me to investigate. We'll send David Hicks on over. It's just doors opening as soon as the head movement starts, so I think there's literally just like two or three aliens left on the top floor just having fun with the doors. Tom goes up. There's a couple doors here. Um... Don't know how safe you are. We'll uh, we'll have Max Cheney up here in front of the doorway, so at least we'll see if anything comes out the door. I don't know how well that'll work. Don't care. And you're still just using that med kit to no avail. We'll pick up his next turn. Yep, there's one across the way there. Perhaps we'll throw a grenade. Tom, I don't know if you can uh, get it over there. I think I may have primed that for just one turn. Sorry, just throw it where you can. We'll, we'll snake around. room's icky because there's a lot of areas for them to hide, like right there. He's got a very large gun, though. I don't think he'll shoot at us. Grenade blasted nothing. Oh. oh, that grenade blast gave him a window to shoot me through. That was incredibly unfortunate. And Tom, be careful. There is a guy with a large gun right there. Hi. Hello. Nice shot. That's okay. They don't need the cryogenics at all. They're, those are just there for looking at. They're not expensive or anything. Send Boris up uh, this elevator here. Check out this area. Hopefully not die because I wasted all of his timing nets. Yeah, it's clear. Tom Moreland's circle around still. You got this guy over here. Flying around. David Hicks refusing to fly. Oh, that's why. There we are. Banging his head on the floor of the sub. I forgot to do the med kit business. If you shoot, you'll kill us all. Um, don't move forward, because that alien is going to snipe you through that window as soon as he sees you. And I guess we'll send you up as well. Krug, swap out the med kit, use stimulants. Jeez. I had a commander in the first playthrough who got hit with the, uh... With the thermal shock bomb right in the face in the, in the very same way. And, uh, she was out for like, 
uh, what was it, at least 30 stimulant charges in 30-some turns. She, she never, never woke up. It's like she was dead. Pretty much was. We failed that mission. From a very aggressive bio drone who decided to wall hack and scout me out one turn. I didn't know where he just decided, you know what, this has gone on long enough and decided to just kill me off. There you go, you see that little fucker over there. Please kill it. Tom. Tom. Tom, if you die, it's because you're really shit at everything. <laughs> Fire accuracy 54. Eh. Expected better, but. Them's the dice. And that's all of my stimulants. Finally, you're up. My god, Jurgen. Jeez. Alright, now Krug can finally go on to do something else. I don't care. Just go up there. Ugh. if you can shoot that down or just you know shoot over it that works too not quite what I expected but it's all right we just got a bunch of people standing around doing nothing Tom takes a shot in the chest presumably lives I can't imagine that would have killed him but that does happen every now and again no fatal wounds he's okay Tom what the fuck man Seriously? Ugh. Alright. Keep trying to break the wall or just shoot over it a lot. And Jurgen will recollect his things so he's not completely useless. Try to karate chop the aliens, I don't know. No, what do you... Him. Jurgen. Ugh. Misclicks. I'll leave it at that. Hopefully Tom doesn't die from his horrible accuracy. David Hicks is existing over there. The game really wants me to move him. Tom's still not fatally wounded. There. The alien is... Right there. No, you know what? Aimed shot. Eh. There. That's what it takes. Send Maria up. Give you a little bit of cover. That alien is in there somewhere. Alright, there's one behind you too. Look out, Tom. There's one down the hallway. Good luck shooting it. Was that one too? You can try to shoot it. No line of fire. You see it, but that's the extent of it. Oh my! There's a few of them up here. Be really, really nice if you could, like, you know, get over that. Just fly in Superman style. Ah, there you go, you finally shot it, thank you. I was expecting you to shoot over it yet again. Krug will hurry on over as fast as he can. That'd be two more suits up there, that should be just fine. If I need more than that, then I'm doing it wrong. I guess we'll finally move David Hicks over there as well, since the game is so adamant on me moving him. Reserve time units, yeah? Oh, it knocked itself out. What an idiot. Anyway, well, that makes me feel a little better. Tom, try to go in there and play superhero. You don't have a grenade because you threw it, killing nothing. That works. Uh, they've all knocked each other out. Wasn't the last batch of them, though. There is still more. 
Oh, of course there's still more. There's the one over here. I suppose we'll scout down here as well. Hopefully Tom's not considered dead at the end of the mission. Eh, slowly working our way down there. Be sure not to miss. Like so many before you. Still more. Get more time units. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that room. Lost a good soldier in that room once. There's a guy hiding in the shadows, like the one square, like right here, so I wasn't able to see him. I believe it was at the south of the Sonic Cannon. Ended up killing one of my best shooters. Rest in peace, person who, whose name I don't remember. Some chick, I think. I don't know. Maybe Amanda. Hmm. Room is clear this time, though. Oh, hi. Wasn't the last one. I think there is just one more though. That was a very fast uh, hidden movement. He's uh, in this room or outside running around naked somewhere or something. It's hard telling, could be anywhere done a very thorough investigation of the uh, terrain as a whole. I think it would blip or something if anybody was near it. Skip all these soldiers, I don't need them. Not up here. That up there. Ah, he panicked. Where is he? He's over there. Well, that's that's. Balls. He's not in the ship. He's not in the ship at all. Alright, well, Jose will get him. He's naked now. So just sprint on over and grab that ass. Oops. A little too far. Right in the mouth. Alright, hopefully Tom's not dead. Only one death. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah, the one, uh, yep. After that grenade blast opened up the window and the alien shot through a fuckload of plastics. Oh my gosh. Krug and Tom, Lieutenant and Ensign.